This is Chris Kent with your Peak Fitness Workout B. Much like Workout A, Workout B is comprised of three sections. All right? Each is performed as a circuit, so I want you to perform all the exercises in Circuit 1 before moving on to Circuit 2 and so on. All right? So our first section is core training. And much like Workout A, um, we have the same exercises. All right? So our first exercise in Workout B would be a push-up plank. So what I'm going to do here is simply start a push-up position. Tighten my arms, find a, what we call a neutral spine by just slightly arching my back, press into the ground. I want you to think about being poked in your gut. All right, you would really tighten up, and that's what I want you to think about doing. Really grip that ground, raise it up into a push-up position, and just try to keep your back flat like a table, shoulder blades down and back, hold for 10 and come down. Now the eventual goal is to hold for 30 seconds in this push-up plank, so again, Try to add about five seconds per week. So in week one, if we do 10 second holds, we would, we would do 15 second holds and, and work out, or I'm sorry, in week two, and so on. All right, from here, progression would be elbow plank, hold for 30 seconds. And that should probably be pretty easy after you've done the push-up plank for a couple weeks. The next progression would be a feet elevated plank. So this is kind of high, but you get the idea. Again, I'm holding in this position. All right, now from here, we have a bent leg side plank, all right? All right, with that, what I'm gonna do is come into a side plank position. Um, you wanna have some kind of a, like padding or cushion for your elbow. What I'm gonna try to do is just grip my, uh, my uh, down, down wrist here, press into the ground, tighten everything up, extend my shoulder forward, and just raise up and hold. Once again, I'm trying to get up to a 30 second hold. Once I can do that, I'm gonna straighten my legs out, hold, and then from here, you can elevate your feet on a small box or some, some sort of an elevated surface like a step. All right, now from here, our next exercise would be a glute bridge. All right, with the glute bridge, I'm just going to press my hands into the ground, tighten my abs, and attempt to move from my hips only. A common error we'll see in this exercise is people moving from the back, so it looks like the whole, uh, the whole trunk is elevated. I want you to move from the hips only. So think about just moving from the waist, really press through the heels, Tighten your butt cheeks and just hold in this position for 30 seconds. Generally, um, you know, you can, you're not going to really need the progression from 10 seconds for this one, but if you do, um, you know, incorporate the same one that we might do with a plank where we start with 10 seconds, move to 15, and so on. Now, our last exercise is a sideline leg lift. All right, with this, I'm just going to come onto my side, really tighten my abs. I'm trying to move from my waist only, so I don't want to get any side flexing from here. Keep everything straight. Flexing my toes up and coming up, pausing at the top and coming back down for up to 15 reps on each side. All right, now for our strength training uh, circuit for this workout, all right, our first exercise is an inverted row. And this one is a killer. Uh, this is the exact opposite of a push-up. For this, we're going to need a power rack or really just any kind, of, any kind of bar that we can pull ourselves up on. But what I'm going to do here is just start under the rack. Lean forward a little bit here so you can see me. I'm going to push my hips up into the air. My knees are bent. I'm pulling my chest to the bar, pausing for one to two seconds and coming back down. Pull up, pause, come back down. To make this a little bit easier, what we can do is simply move back so I'm a little bit more angled as opposed to being directly under it. Same rules apply. Try not to shrug my shoulders. To make this harder, what I can do is simply straighten the legs out. Oh, pull my chest to the bar, pause, come back down. And from here, we can do things like elevating our feet on a step, um, which really crank up the intensity, all right? So I'm looking for up to 10 reps. Once you can do three solid rounds of eight, rep, eight to 10 reps in you know, whatever position you're in, try to make it harder in some way. All right, so for our next exercise, we have a step up. And I'll actually turn this to the side so you can see me a little bit better here. And for the step up, again, we're starting body weight. I'm using an exercise bench here. You can use a lower surface if necessary, but the main error that I see in a step up looks like this. So, the person will step up, they'll try to use the other leg to assist. I want you to extend the back leg up or the front leg up all the way before you step on. That's really crucial. Lean forward a little bit to get the, the glutes or the butt into it and extend the hip forward. All right? From here, we can do things like holding on to weights or moving to a higher step. So, if you're using a lower surface, the next progression would be raise up to a higher step. Um, again, I'm looking for up to 10 reps there. All right, now moving on, our, our uh, third final exercise would be what is called a split stance band press. All right, with this, what I'm going to do is I've got a band looped around a, uh, 
a dumbbell rack here. You can you can shut a band into a doorway. Um, you can use a cable system or a cable system like the free motion that we have that I demonstrated in workout A. Uh, but whatever you've got, I want you to come into a split stance. Get your chest up. Think about keeping the shoulder blades down. Try to avoid shrugging. All right, I'm just pressing straight out, pausing at the top for one or two seconds, and I'm coming back. All right, I'm looking for up to ten reps here. If you can get more than that, what you can simply do is switch sides right, and get ten more, or you can move to a single arm. So we can we can progress with single arm chest press much harder. Double the force there. So again, ten reps, uh, three sets of each exercise back to back. And then we move on for, to our conditioning. Right? Again, with our conditioning, um, same exercises from workout A. With that said, I want you to pick different ones for each one. So if you did medicine ball slams and mountain climbers in uh, workout A, uh, do ice skaters and ankle jumps in workout B, and just mix it up as you go along. Right? So again, with the, uh, with the, the exercises are to a little refresher here, we've got medicine ball slams. Um, you're going to get a new ball anywhere from 6 to 8 pounds, or you know, actually up to 15. But I'm just slamming as hard as I can, trying to make that floor shake, moving as ballistically as possible. All right, for the mountain climber, um, you know, we'll start on a bench here. Again, this allows me to keep my torso straight a little bit better. I'm just tucking my knees, my chest like I'm running. If this is easy, you can move down to a lower surface. The main thing is the back stays flat. Again, we're not hitting that ground. All right, so that's an important consideration to make. Now, for the Ice skater, again, what I want to do, what I want to think about doing is just exploding from side to side. All right, I'm, I'm jumping off the inside of my feet here, just back and forth for 30 seconds. Uh, for, for the ankle jumps, just bouncing on the ankles. Again, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off for each exercise. That should work out big.